Hi, I'm Darren from Isotonic Studios. It's been a very long day at work, but when you come home and you find a, an email in your inbox from Stray, uh, from Native Control saying, hey Darren, I've got a new version of ClipX Pro and it's got an accessory called bindings. Well, you gotta find out what that is. Come with me, we're gonna find out together. Okay then, so first uh, download the, the zip files and uh, then expand them, uh, save them to your hard drive. Now, the minimum standard, minimum requirement for ClipX Pro, ClipX Pro bindings, rather, is version 1.1.2. Uh, so as you can see, we've already unzipped this. Uh, you get a package file if you're on Mac, you get an EXE if you're on Windows. I'm gonna double click on the package file and continue through there i will install that i've got a new macbook pro so touch id is uh yeah amazing installation and you may have to pick your suite excellent that works brilliantly uh done and i might as well no i'll leave the installer there for for later uh, and then I want ClipX Pro bindings. I'm going to do the same there. Right, so ClipX Pro bindings can't be opened because it's from an unidentified developer. Okay, so this can happen if you've got your gatekeeper settings uh, set up to block things that are downloaded from the internet. It's really simple to get round. All you need to do is hold down the control key and click and then open. And then it will give you the option. It is from an unidentified developer. Are you sure you want to open it? I'm going to do so. And let's just step through the steps there. I'm going to agree. Install. Touch ID. Excellent. Validating uh, that. The installation. We're going to choose Live 10 Suite. Done. And I'll keep that there. Okay. So that's installed now uh, I believe as we can see from here in the installation guide I think that's uh, covered it first close live on the setup ah, there's the note there about the setup can't be open because it's unidentified uh, developer uh, how to submit a support ticket and a link to the forum if you're using clip Pro, I would really advise getting involved in the forum you'll find loads of like-minded users uh, coming up with some great uses for it I mean we've had people so DJs to to solo artists to actually some stadium sized bands using clip X Pro so get involved and you might learn some stuff as well I still learn every time I open it to be perfectly honest uh, the ClipX Pro user manual um, we can open that so the current version has got some independent movement options linked to the script linking uh, excellent the optional accessories section to the manual there's a couple of others there's some global actions some clip actions some clip envelope actions some push actions and of course we'll be sending this out as an update for free to all of the existing uh, subscribers so let's jump to the optional accessories ClipX Pro bindings allows controls on a MIDI controller to be dynamically bound and rebound to parameters in live right okay so that's like MIDI mapping but it's not right so using your X controls whether that's triggering a clip or a scene or perhaps you know a locator in arrangement or even another MIDI button you can change what your encoders yeah encoders and buttons are mapped to oh so effectively you can create a MIDI controller that you can switch what it's mapped to on the fly that's incredible right well I'm gonna gonna have to pick my son up from uh, from football now after that I'm gonna get properly diving in <laughs> 